My name's Priya and today I'll be reading you Bluey Barky Boat. Here's the blurb. Bluey and Mackenzie are excited to see their buddies. But will Mia and Captain still have time to play with them? Stay tuned to find out. Let's read. Something very special is happening today at school. Before Calypso can tell the class, Bluey and Mackenzie call out at the same time. What is it? Ooh, Bluey's going to marry Mackenzie. No, I'm not. No, she's not. You're going to see your buddies, continues Calypso. Hooray, cheer the class. Bluey's buddy Mia is waiting for her in the special meeting place. Can we build a fairy garden? Bluey asks Mia. Mackenzie and his buddy Captain do their secret handshake. Can we play barky boats? asks Mackenzie. Okay. Mackenzie and Captain are playing barky boats when Mia and Bluey appear. Hi Mia, shouts Captain. Oh, hi Captain, says Mia. What are you doing? Bluey and I are going to build a fairy garden. What are you doing? asks Mia. We're playing barky boats, says Captain. Have fun, bye. Once Mia and Bluey are gone, Mackenzie and Captain release the barky boat down the stream. Woo, yeah. Hey Mackenzie, do you want to help Bluey build a fairy garden? Asks Captain. No. Meanwhile, Bluey and Mia are building their fairy garden. This can be the trees. This can be the bridge. Mia, how old are you? Bluey asks. Twelve, says Mia. Wow, can you drive a car? Mia laughs. No, not yet. I'm going to big school next year. Are you nervous about big school? Asks Bluey. No, it's going to be great, says Mia. But she doesn't sound sure. Ooh, can you write a letter to the fairies? Dear fairies. But then Captain turns up with Mackenzie. Oh, what are you doing here? Bluey asks. Mackenzie points at Captain. He made me come. Oh, I, I thought there might be some good bark here for our barky boats, Captain says. He smiles at me. Well, there's not, declares Bluey. I told you, shouts Mackenzie, a bit confused. Bluey shoots him away so she can keep playing with Mia. Bluey wants to keep writing her letter to the fairies, but Mia is thinking about something else. Do you think this would make a good barky bow? She holds up a bit of bark. Um, yes, says Bluey. Do you want to quickly give it to Mackenzie? No, Bluey shouts. Come on, Bluey, I'll race you, Mia says as she rushes off, leaving Bluey on her own. Back at the stream, Mackenzie is taking charge. Keep letting the water build up, he orders. Captain nods. And no running off. Yeah, okay. I don't know what I was thinking, says Captain with a shrug. But then, Bluey and Mia appear. Hi, says Mia. What are you doing here? Mackenzie asks Bluey. Bluey points at Mia. She made me come. I thought you might like this barky boat, Mia says. She smiles at Captain. Oh, thanks, says Captain. That's a good one. It's not that good. It's gooder than yours. I can find a better one, offers Mia. I'll help you, says Captain. Won't be long, Mackenzie. I'll be right back, Bluey, says Mia. The buddies run off, leaving Bluey and Mackenzie behind. Calypso finds Bluey and Mackenzie sitting all alone. Our buddies ran away from us, Bluey tells her. Don't they like us? Of course they do, says Calypso. But it can be hard being 12 sometimes. She smiles. Here, give me those barky boats. I'll show you something. She takes the barky boats and begins to tell a story. There once were two six-year-old buddies floating around nice and calm, not a care in the world. She says as Bluey and Mackenzie hold back the rising water. They turn seven years old, then eight years old, then nine, then ten, then eleven, then... It can't hold it any longer, yells Mackenzie. Look out! Twelve! Off they went on a big adventure, says Calypso. Hang on, buddies. Whoa, are they going to make it? I don't know. Hooray, they made it. 
and they lived happily ever after, says Bluey. Just be patient. Your buddies haven't forgotten you. Okay, Calypso, replied Bluey and Mackenzie at the same time. Meanwhile, me and our captain are talking instead of looking for the barky boats. Are you nervous about starting high school, Mia asks. A little, says Captain. Me too, says Mia. At least we'll be there together. At the stream, Bluey and Mackenzie are on their own again. Mackenzie has an idea. Do you want to play barky boats with me? Okay, says Bluey. We can race our buddies. Bluey and Mackenzie are having lots of fun racing their buddies down the stream. Go Captain! Go Mia! When Mia and Captain hear them cheering, Ah, our buddies! Captain and Mia race back to the stream. I'm so sorry, Bluey, says Mia. We were looking for barky boats, says Captain, and then I don't know what happened. Bluey smiles. That's okay, you made it back. Come on, Bluey, says Mia. Let's go finish the fairy letter. But before Bluey leaves, she gives Mackenzie a hug. See you, Mackenzie. See you, Bluey. Bluey and Mia sit down to finish the fairy letter. Dear fairy, said Bluey, I love my buddy Mia because she can do the splits and she gives me piggybacks. Oh, I love giving you piggybacks, says Mia. Please look after Mia when she goes to big school, even though she isn't scared, says Bluey. And make sure she doesn't forget to come and play with me, says Bluey a little sad. Kiss, 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 hug, hug. Hug. Thank you so much for joining me to read tonight. I hope you have a great night. And if you'd like to see my next book, remind mom and dad to subscribe. See you next time.